all things favoring high-end brands. I'll start with you, Mohammed. No. South Coast. No. How much does your governor spend? Uh, my governor, Salim Vuria, governor for Kuala, is a very humble guy. Mm -hmm. um, it, it dresses, uh, it dresses uh, casually but smart. Mm -hmm. But when you cross the ferry the other side of uh, town, mm -hmm. that is Mombasa, I mean, I mean, who doesn't know Governor 001? <laughs> this brother uh, really wears really nicely and very expensively. Mm -hmm. Of late, I've been watching him, uh, the way he dresses. I mean, he's strictly, uh, he's strictly um, the, his clothes. Mm -hmm. Pure Versace, mm -hmm. pure Versace from Italy. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also, when you check also the neighbor in Kilifi, that is uh, Governor Amazon Jeffa Kingi, Versace, Balenciaga. Um, I mean, guys are wearing designer things from Paris and, uh, and, 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 and Italy. Mm -hmm. And for example, just a Barocco t shirt from Versace is costing around 80,000 to 100,000. Mm -hmm. So you find somebody's attire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you find somebody's attire from, 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 from the t-shirt to, to, to the shoes mm -hmm. going for even 400,000. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think Bomasa guys are really setting the pace. All right, but let's talk about <laughs> it. Yes, you're dressing well, but does, it, does the city or county you're representing reflect the same? Uh, I, I remember Governor Joho saying that uh, he wants an Instagrammable Mombasa. Mm -hmm. I mean, a, a city that you can post, you can take pictures and put on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I, th I think he has tried. Mm -hmm. uh, he has really tried. If you if you if you entering Mombasa, that sh that section of Kibaran where we had the dump site, mm -hmm. I mean the dump site has been cleared. Mm -hmm. uh, it's now a recreational center. Mm -hmm. uh, kids are playing. We have we have bouncing castles and everything. Yeah. But again, when we come to clothing, I believe. Uh, Joho is a man of means, mm -hmm. so if he wears nicely and he is using his own money and not money from public coffers, then well and good. Because we normally say uh, dressing well is a sign of good manners. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I relate to my governor uh, from Embu County, uh, Martin Wambora. Uh, I think my governor is good. Uh, he's a mzee, so <laughs> wazees don't consider so much about dressing. But uh, we are focusing on, on service delivery. It's not more about how you dress. But the others, I think uh, they are doing good. Well, you have a right to look, uh, to, to look good. Yes, but um, it, 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 maybe, if d does it reflect on what you are doing to your people in your county? Yes, if it, is a, if it doesn't, then uh, you are just wasting your time. You are just being a socialite uh, in the name of uh, administration. Yeah. Uh, let's, they should. Let's, let's, talk, let's talk about uh, our governor <laughs> in Nam. Nairobi County, Nam. Mike Mbubisonko. Nam. He's dressing in uh, the state of Nairobi County. Uh, Nairobi is in a very sorry state, truth be said. Mm -hmm. Though the governor is trying uh, tr trying to dress sharply. I saw the other time he was in Montepella, France, yeah. mm -hmm. in, in, in pure uh, Balenciaga uh, apparel. Mm -hmm. But um, we are having issues. Just the other day I was watching a show, uh, they, 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 they were watching a program. Mm -hmm. Cartels are all over selling water and people don't even have uh, clean water in their houses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have issues of uh, traffic jam in the city. Mm -hmm. We have feeder roads in the city that have not been repaired. Mm -hmm. and, and, and this one reminds me, Governor Sonko said that, uh, I mean, he's, in, he's on record, mm -hmm. uh, having bought a machine, I don't know from where, that was going to fix uh, um, potholes in the, in, in, in the roads in a matter of, of minutes. Mm -hmm. Right now we're having potholes all over. Mm -hmm. But our governor, where is he? Montepella, France. I mean, I don't know Paris. He's, he's globetrotting everywhere and nothing is happening. So as much, Governor Sok, as much as you dress smartly, which is very nice, kindly also deliver on the people of Nairobi. Deliver on your mandate, please. All right. Well, you guys are also looking sharp. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not governors. <laughs> All right. Uh, page five of the Daily Nation reads, Central Bank of Kenya falls structure of economy indicating growth without new jobs and rise in wages. Now, uh, Brian, we're saying economy is growing, but we don't have jobs. I mean, how do we relate to this? Uh, I'll repeat what I said as we were starting. Mm -hmm. When you sketch a normal curve mm -hmm. uh, indicating the growth of economy mm -hmm. and the number of job opportunities, yeah. it should be a normal curve. So if we, if we are having a, a growing economy, yet we don't have job opportunities, then there's a question. How is it done? How is that, how are things being done? Because if we, are, uh, if we have a growing economy, it means that we have a lot of opportunities which should be utilized, especially by the jobless youth. youths. It should be utilized and... Uh, 
it's saddening anyway. All right. Yeah. Uh, now let's move on to the corridors of education. Page 10 and 11 of the Daily Nation reads, it's all systems go as more than 1 million KCPE candidates begin their exams today. Now, Muhammad, no. the number has gone up. Yes. And uh, we, we recently saw the issues in our education system. We saw a school that collapsed. We saw schools that are not reaching the, the levels that are set for them to be run. Yes. What can we say uh, is, the is the level of education in our country as it stands? And are we ready for CBC? Um, on matters of CBC, mm -hmm. on matters of C CBC, I'll leave it to the experts. Mm -hmm. But uh, first of all, I have to, um, I wish all the class eight uh, uh, candidates all the best yeah. in their KCP because they are starting today. Yesterday was rehearsal. Yeah. Um, again, when you come to education, I think I think we, we should just stick to the eight for four system. Mm -hmm. uh, as a country, we aren't ready for the CBC. I'll tell you I'll, I'll tell you an example. Yeah. If you go to Singapore, mm -hmm. kids in Singapore as early as age eight, age, age, age eight, age ten, age twelve, yeah. they are taught how to assemble computers. Mm -hmm. In Nairobi, CBC kids are being uh, wear, kids are wearing gunia, and <laughs> then they are be, they are gi being given uh, brooms to sweep to sweep the streets. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are teaching kids to do even what adults are not doing. Yeah. I mean, how can that be CBC? Telling people to, telling kids to cook mandazi, to prepare chapati. I mean, is that CBC or home science? <laughs> so we really need to be serious when we, t we talk about CBC. Uh, uh, the, 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 the guys who are uh, in that uh, department should guide us well. And uh, again, on that matter of uh, a school that collapsed in uh, Dagoretti Corner, mm -hmm. killing uh, several s students, mm -hmm. it basically tells you that the education system in this country, I mean, I mean, I mean, some of the schools in this country, especially in highly populated areas, they are not up to standard. Mm -hmm. And uh, the guys who should be giving licensing and guys who should be doing the inspection and everything, mm -hmm. they're not doing their job. Right. They're not doing their job. Kiamu, your yes. thoughts? Uh, we are ready for CBC. Mm -hmm. That's my thought. Uh, at this era of the Jubilee administration, we are having uh, a programs about the government which are bringing up technical training institutes uh, into the country, which means that uh, we are equipping the young people with expertise and skills. So if those skills start at that early age, it's the best way to go because uh, people will not be uh, ambushed when you are young and you're being forced to do something that will not maybe help you um, in your later life. Mm -hmm. uh, people make fun of about uh, things that we used to learn in uh, high school, something like kivumishi, uh, kishirikishi, and they are not <laughs> helping us anyway. <laughs> so I think CBC is nice. But then if mm -hmm. CBC is nice, what happens to this student who is in a rural area where, forget about CBC, mm -hmm. they don't even have electricity or a classroom. Yes. Now when they have CBC, let them begin with the basics. Let us start afresh. Okay, yes. so that, that yes. reminds me, uh, where the laptops that you believe promised? <laughs> where are the laptops? I mean, we should start from the laptops. Even the teachers don't even know how to yeah, use laptops. Either. I mean, this country, I don't know what's not happening. But laptops without electricity, how will they? Uh, 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 anyway, surely. surely. <laughs> Let's move on to page 12 of the Daily Nation that reads, Paradox of high levels of crime in the face of increased surveillance. Irony. Big irony. Big like, irony. How is it that we're increasing surveillance? <laughs> but crime is going high. Uh, that, one, that one will push me to a quote by Chinua Achebe, which says that, Eneke the bird said that, since men have learned to shoot without missing, mm -hmm. the birds had learned to fly without patching. Okay. I mean, <laughs> the, the criminals have become smarter. They are now smarter. Mm -hmm. You put your surveillance, but again, that reminds me, how many politicians and senior, senior people in this country have died, yet Safaricom, had a collaboration with Huawei from China, mm -hmm. and they put um, CCTVs around the city. And, and, and if we look for, if we, if we go for the CCTV footage so that we find anything that happened, we find guys have deleted the footage. <laughs> I mean, I mean think, uh, uh, that one again brings you to the issue that we are having guys all over mm -hmm. who, are, who are not, um, who, are not who, who don't want justice in this country. Okay. And everything is being swept under the carpet. Mm -hmm. Yes. Defend our justice. He said we don't want justice in this country. <laughs> what do you think? I think the biggest problem is collusion mm -hmm. uh, between our security agencies and the criminals. Uh, these people collude a lot such that uh, their aim is to defeat justice. Mm -hmm. And that is the biggest problem. Okay. We have surveillance, yes. But now, how to reach it? How to reach that justice? How to curb the criminals in this country is the biggest problem.
All right. Now let us move on to page 26 of the Daily Nation and a sad story, really. Floods forced 50,000 families out of homes. Now scores of people forced to move to higher grounds as, Shabel, as River Shabelle bust banks. Now, in this day and age, 21st century, no. floods is still an issue affecting our country. Who's playing the foul card? I mean, I mean, I mean, Ministry of uh, Ministry of Water, Irrigation, and uh, and um, planning. And planning. Yes. Uh, this is this one goes to uh, Eugene Wamalwa. Mm -hmm. Every time we have floods, I mean, bef before we anticipate the rains, we normally have a budget. Mm -hmm. They say we have set this amount of money yeah. for floods, and when the floods are, are are over, they say we have set this amount of money for drought. So that in case of uh, when drought comes, <laughs> we're going to sort out issues. Mm -hmm. But you find that now we are having floods. Guys are, being, uh, guys are dying in Jomvu, in Mombasa. Mm -hmm. We are having serious um, issues in Turkana. Mm -hmm. I mean, the same, the same ministry that say they have the money, they have allocated the money, the money is now not there. Yeah? So, I mean, I'm seriously blaming the, the, the ministry of, uh, of, of, of uh, Minister C.S. Uh, CS uh, Wamalwa. Mm -hmm. He's the one who comes on uh, national TVs telling us that the money is there for everything, that they have allocated money for drought and everything and floods. But during the, the drought and the floods, nothing happens. Mm -hmm. Nothing. So the, 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 the ball is in their court. They're the ones who are letting us down in terms of this. Because um, a lot should happen. And again, uh, areas like Trukana and other counties, it is high time. It is high time we need to harvest the water. Yeah, and use it in, in, in such kind of areas which are dry. We need to harvest the water. And uh, the Ministry of Water and everything should also do their part. Mm -hmm. And we should be avoiding this. This issue of begging and looking for aid every time is not, I mean, it's not nice. Mm -hmm. Yet we had set the money already in the first place. So someone is doing something wrong. Somebody is joking in the office. All right. Kiyama, what are your thoughts <laughs> before we go on break? Uh, I am on, of the contrary opinion. I will not blame anybody for this because uh, these are natural calamities uh, which nobody has control of. But uh, still, uh, we have set funds uh, to, to govern or to rather to, to take care of these people. At least if these if this natural calamities occur, we have an option to evacuate the people. We have an option to give relief food maybe uh, because uh, floods cannot be managed by drainage systems or, uh, or gabions or anything. These are things that occur. But uh, we can evacuate these people. There are not very many in Trukana uh, because uh, life is the best thing we can ever get. But then where do you evacuate them to? Uh, the government has an option because there is a lot of government land. No, 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 my problem mm. with, the, with the Kiyama is he's saying that these are calamities. Mm. In Japan, they have issues of earthquake and everything. Yes. But they sort out the issue within a few days. Mm -hmm. There's a bridge that collapsed uh, on your way to Turkana, right? Just past, uh, past Kitale. Up to now, they have not sorted it out. Mm -hmm. Up to now, they have not sorted it out. The guys are still begging. Guys are still dying. Yeah? And this is your government. And there is money for that. And they allocated the money for that. Mm -hmm. You guys are not serious. Mm -hmm. You guys and, are not serious. And at the same time, Kiyama, when we say you're evacuating someone, this is somewhere they call home. So when you're evacuating them, you need to give them a place where they will feel accepted and also feel better. So mm, there is no other option. Uh, floods are there. So if it were you, what could you do? And would you this stay, budget, this would you stay and swim? Is put there, uh -huh. Where does the money go? To? That's now the problem Somebody because uh, the money. So that's the problem because, because the we have promises all over and every time yeah. that when there will be floods, we'll do this and this, we'll do that and that. But now it is not being put to practice. <laughs> yes, it's not being put. So they definitely should do something about yes, it. Yes. All right. The thoughts of Brian Kiyama right there bring us to the end of our second segment. But the story when we come back is this. Wedding joy turns to tears as girl eight drowns in a hotel pool. Stay tuned for that. Ahl wa sahlan wa marhaban. You are watching The Sobah Show. Keep it locked right here on Horizon TV. Horizon TV, the beacon for the nation.
تَبَارَكَ الَّذِي نَزَّلَ الْفُرْقَانَ عَلَى عَبْدِهِ لِيَكُونَ لِلْعَالَمِينَ نَذِيرًا ni kitabu kitukufu ani ni kitabu ambacho cha miujiza kile kitaremsho kwa mpangilio hazikuletwa harufu hizi za mkato moja kwa moja hakuna mfano wake na hamwezi nyinyi makureshi kuwa ni wenye kutunga kitabu kama hiki ingawa zimetumia harufu zile ambazo zimozitumia katika kuandika au katika kusema miujiza yake almalik mwenyezi Mungu ana uwezo kusokwa na kifano ni malengo ya Qur'an. Khazain zote za ardhi na samawat ziko mikononi mwake. Sheikh Muhammad bada maana na uchambuzi wa Qur'an kwa undani kila alhamisi saa 3 usiku kwenye Horizon TV. Healthy Thursday is not just about diseases. It's about food, lifestyle milestones in the medical practitioners field especially in our muslim ummah and more so your health discover breakthroughs and milestones in the medical field learn how to manage diseases oh, that was not join the discussion make better decisions on your meal plans improve your lifestyle all the doctors who are there were tired of working in maternity and uh, taking care of women and they say you are the new kid on the block we are leaving this department to you healthy thursday is about you about your family your lifestyle so keep it locked horizon tv on healthy thursday with me maria mwacharo The Messenger of Allah said, Whoever says when the morning comes, Raditu billahi rabba wa bil islami dina wa bi muhammadin nabiyya Meaning, I am pleased with Allah as the Lord and with Islam as a religion and with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as a prophet then I am the guarantor that I will take him by his hand until I put him into Jannah. direction from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala perfectly reminders from the member with the best of hatibs we tasted the pleasure the sweetness of ibadah because the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said there are no times that can be equal to these days except maybe tune in to Horizon TV from different masajid every Tuesday and Thursday at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Horizon TV, the beacon for the nation. You are watching the Sobah show. Keep it locked right here on Horizon TV. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the third and final segment of our first newspaper review. And with me in studio still is Muhammad Onyango and Brian Kiyama. Now, before we went on the break, the story was this. Wedding joy turns to tears as girl ate drowns in pool. Now, this is a family that was uh, going for a wedding attending, and then the, you're taking pictures by the pool, but they're not watching this little girl, and she fell into the pool, drowned, and died. So 
how important is it that when we are attending these functions, someone looks after the kids? Because the little negligence from either the parents or the guardians can lead to a drastic thing like a wedding turning tragic. Now, you went for a happy occasion, but then you come out there crying because some an innocent child lost their lives, Muhammad. Now, uh, this incident happened, uh, happened in my neighborhood uh, because uh, it was in a Neptune Hotel in mm -hmm. Diani. Yeah. Um, there are two things. I don't want to blame people. I, it, it, I don't want to start pointing fingers and blaming people. Mm -hmm. The wedding happened at Neptune, and the kids uh, um, went away from the, from the venue of the wedding and went swimming. So it's, 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 it's in this situation where they were swimming and then the kid drowned. Mm -hmm. So just two things. In such scenarios, let the, let the parents uh, be very keen with their kids. Mm -hmm. Secondly, in a big hotel like Neptune, mm -hmm. for heaven's sake, mm -hmm. Weren't there swimming uh, attendants and everything to, to, to guide the kids at everything mm -hmm. so that they could have rescued the kid uh, instead of drowning? Okay. So, I mean, we should be very, we should take caution every time we go to such kind of places. All right, still on page 10, parties to bet on ethnic numbers in Kibra Paul. Kiyama, yeah. your thoughts? Uh, Kibra is uh, three horse race. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can see already, we can speculate who is taking the day, uh, of course, of course that is Mariga, mm -hmm. but uh, it is tough and it is going to be tough. Mm -hmm. uh, the party who will win, it will be uh, with a very small margin mm -hmm. uh, because uh, this is a stronghold for the ODM, but Jubilee has now maneuvered into Kibra mm -hmm. and they are doing that, wonders, that, that's, that's they are doing fallacy. wonders. That's a yes. fallacy, uh, that's a fallacy for mm -hmm. Kibra is still and will, will and still remain uh, the bedroom and the bedrock of uh, ODM party. Okay. There's nothing like three horse race in Kibra. Mm -hmm. I mean, these other guys are just there for PR. <laughs> yeah, Mariga, Mariga and uh, Owalo should be vying for, for the first runners up and the second runners up position. <laughs> that seat is going to be taken by Imran Okot. I mean, there's no debate about that. Mm -hmm. All right. Now let's move on to page 11, away from the politics, of course, because you guys now want to <laughs> get things heated. <laughs> Uh, scare as Silverstone airplane loses rear tire during takeoff. Now it's not, it's not the first incident mm -hmm. Silverstone has has had. Yesterday yes. we, there was a video circulating on Twitter where a Silverstone plane was going for a takeoff, yes. and then just before taking off, it hit the tail of another plane. Yes. But this plane just went ahead and yes. took off. They didn't yes. even have to, they didn't stop for yes. checks or yes. anything. Yes. Does it say that the safety of the people who are going on board is not thought of or what? Um, on Silverstone, and actually I've tweeted about this, mm -hmm. Kenya Civil Aviation Authority should revoke the license of Silverstone Air. Mm -hmm. Why? Because uh, if it was uh, a, a, a one case scenario, we could have forgiven them and said, I mean, these things happen. Yeah. Yeah. Silverstone Air, when taking off at Lodwa Airport, the, 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 the tire fell, uh, fell, fell, uh, fell to the ground. Mm -hmm. I mean, how can a tire of an aeroplane or an aircraft fall to the ground? Mid-air. Mid-air. <laughs> I mean, what, did, did, did they service the, 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 the aircraft before? Mm -hmm. Even a person who has a bicycle normally checks, uh, I mean, to say my nyororo, when I'm nyororo, come here to Greece. We're a bicycle. What about the guy who is having an aircraft and you are carrying passengers for heaven's sake? Mm -hmm. That is the first scenario. Yeah. There's that scenario by, again where the, 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 the one of their aircraft, aircraft was taking off mm -hmm. and it damaged other, air, uh, other, other planes that were there mm -hmm. and the pilot didn't care even to check. Mm -hmm. One week or two weeks ago again, one of the aircraft was uh, taking off at Wilson. Mm -hmm. It skidded off the runway mm -hmm. and just fell uh, a few meters from the airport. Mm -hmm. So what, what, what comes to my mind, though a lot of guys are talking about issues of sabotage and everything, mm -hmm. But I think the management is not doing things right. Mm -hmm. They're not doing things right. It's either those um, um, the, uh, the aircrafts are not well serviced, mm -hmm. or they're substandard or something. Because you can't be having issues every single day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you mm -hmm. can't be having issues. They let them sort it out once and for all. all right. Yeah, yeah. Brian, should their license be revoked? Uh, exactly. Uh, it is very unfortunate when an aircraft company uh, puts profit uh, before life. Uh, it happened even in uh, the Tanzania, oh, I mean the Ethiopian air crash. Uh, when uh, people are prioritizing on profit before life, somebody tell these people that life is the most precious thing. And uh, if you are not um, uh, careful about this, then you will not live to tell the story. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, away from that, let's talk about the Kenyans 
who despite knowing these things, despite seeing these incidences and happenings, still go ahead and board such planes. Ignorance or just, we've just reached a point where like, to kifika, to fike, to spofika, nisa. I mean, I mean, I mean, we should always put safety first. I, 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 I mean, it, 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 uh, it amazes me mm -hmm. when I see on Twitter uh, bloggers and influencers trending topics, I mean, blogging for uh, Silver Air and saying all, I mean, this is, this is the best aircraft you can ever see. I mean, this is the best thing we have ever had. We should actually be serious on crimes of safety. Mm -hmm. Guys who are going to board Silver, uh, silver Air, mm -hmm. if, they, if they feel like, no, no problem. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have no problem with that. Mm -hmm. But what I have is that Silver Line should put their house in order mm -hmm. and assure their passengers of safety mm -hmm. so that we, we, we should not be waiting until people die of mm -hmm. an air crash. Then we become serious in this country. Okay. Yes. Let's not wait for people to die to be yeah. serious. The so thoughts of Muhammad right there move us to the star. And on page four of the star, interesting story. Senator Kangata proposes laws to punish deadbeat dads. Let's start with you, Kiyama. There was a proposal <laughs> that uh, if you're a deadbeat dad and uh, you're going to, say, borrow a loan, for example, in a bank, and uh, you're listed in the CRB that you you haven't paid fees for your child you shouldn't be given the loan what do you think about this i think we have independent uh, institutions to govern matters to do with the loans and banking and everything uh, i think th those are his own sentiments about it mm -hmm. yeah but then uh, should, what is the excuse of being a deadbeat um, i'll choose to ignore that. okay <laughs> Muhammad, i mean, I mean uh, again this this one comes to issues of responsibility men mm -hmm. should be responsible in this country yeah. if you are willing and ready and made a lady pregnant i mean carry your own responsibility mm -hmm. why should you make somebody pregnant and then you run away from your duties you know you <laughs> do your thing i mean you enjoyed it so pay the money if it is uh, money for food money for upkeep money for school fees. do your part come on mm -hmm. So I'll, 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 I'll agree with the Senator Kangata. Mm -hmm. If you're a deadbeat, you're not doing your part, come on. Tukupereke kwa kotu uko toe ulipe fight. Guys should be serious when in this country. Yeah, and also the rights of a child. Yes. It should be respected. How do you expect the kid to grow if you're not, if you're not uh, giving the, the, the money? All right. Yes. And also in Islam, it says when you have a child, it's your responsibility to to take care of them because this is yours. You had them from either your yes. marriage with your wife. So this is something that we should focus on. Now, away from that, let us talk matters BBI. I know, Kiyama, you were waiting for this for so long. So I'll start with you. Kenyans to wait longer for handover of, of BBI proposals. That is the star on page six. Should, is, is it uh, something that is being done without us knowing? That, why are we waiting if the report is ready? Okay, uh, it doesn't matter uh, for how long we should wait. Uh, the, uh, the, what we should uh, look at is what is contained in that BBI. Uh, we, especially, let me talk on behalf of the people of Embu, where I come from. We, people of Embu, we are not concerned about uh, the positions and uh, what, what the BBI tries to expand the executive. We are concerned about how we try to uh, restore our lost glory in tea and coffee farming, which is the main cash crop in Embu. We are looking about how we'll have adequate water supply in the lower parts of Embu, that is Mbere. We are looking about how we achieve our universal health care, which is one of the agendas of the Big Four agenda of, of the President. How our level four, level three, and level five hospitals are going to get enough drugs uh, for our people. We are looking about how we are going to have uh, job opportunities for our youth. So things about expanding the executive, about uh, inclusivity in the name of inclusivity, those are known issues to us. And uh, if it comes the way we are projecting it, because we are speculating things that we don't like, then we shoot it down at arrival. So yes. what is it that you're projecting? Uh, we know that uh, the handshake mm -hmm. came about to bring inclusivity. Mm -hmm. They are calling it inclusivity. But the inclusivity is expanding the executive. In this country, we are already overrepresented. Mm -hmm. We don't need any other form of representation to achieve service delivery. Hence the Yes. I mean, uh, f uh, my brother Kiam is not being honest. Mm -hmm. We are not being overrepresented in this country. Mm -hmm. The number one problem that we are having in this country is corruption. Mm -hmm. And we know who is leading in corruption. Mm -hmm. And they should tell us better about that. <laughs> what? <laughs> in, 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 look, yeah. Rwanda, Rwanda has a pure presidential system. Mm -hmm. And Paul Kagame is the president. Yes. But Rwanda 
has a prime minister. They have an office of the prime minister. Mm -hmm. Ethiopia has an office of the prime minister. Mm -hmm. The office of the prime minister is actually there. Mm -hmm. When you have a country with many ethnicities, mm -hmm. a country that is so polarized, mm -hmm. the best that you can do is to pay, make sure that you get um, one of their leaders of these uh, majority tribes on board. Mm -hmm. and, and with the BBI, I mean, this is a very healthy debate, Kiaba. Mm -hmm. I mean, you should reconsider that. Mm -hmm. It's a very healthy debate. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, identified a 10-point agenda mm -hmm. of issues of historical injustices and everything, and electoral uh, uh, justice. And, uh, I mean, a lot, a lot of healthy uh, things that we, we need to do. Mm -hmm. What Kiaba is telling us is, is basically speculating, because the report is not out. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows about the BBI report. Mm -hmm. So let us be patient. Let us be patient. Get mm -hmm. the report. Mm -hmm. discuss it if we'll go to referendum so be it but the biggest point but is the, yes. any constitutional amendment yes. that is not uh, empowering our counties yes. you remember the punguza mzigo bill yes. which was seeking to add more funds yes. in devolution yes. so if the uh, bbi is not aiming at uh, empowering that Wanjiko in the village, yes. then there's no need for How are you it. going to empower Wanjiko and your guys have stolen everything? Yeah. <laughs> the BBI is touching on corruption. But still, yes. even if we are fighting corruption, yes. then we must have funds. Yes. Because you cannot steal nothing. You must steal something. So if yes. the BBI is yes. aiming at fighting corruption, yes. then let it also aim at Empowering yeah, so I'd, I'd, I'd advise yes. Kiyama to go and read the 10 point agenda of the BBI. <laughs> Let I mean, me ask it's a very healthy debate. Uh, Let me ask Farah. Kiyama, yes. Yes. what are you hoping to get out of the BBI? Should it pass? My biggest worry mm -hmm. is uh, empowering devolution. Mm -hmm. How we have more funds in our counties. Because we cannot have a country of uh, people just owning and having positions uh, top there. Then this. And the on the peace. ground is since, suffering. Since came on board, we are having peace. There's peace, I yes. mean, you can sit with you and can discuss <laughs> issues. Come on, bro. <laughs> All right. Away from that, uh, <laughs> ma the masses of BBI, now let's move on to our final story. Taifa Leo, page no. 14. No. Interesting story. Kutumia simu choni kuna madhara kibao. Now, Muhammad, no. as much as a uh, majority of us might uh, shun away from this or deny this, there's this crop of uh, the youth. When uh, you get home, you know, you have Wi-Fi, your phone is maybe at 89, it has enough charge. And then you go to the washroom, you sit there, you might actually spend more than 30 minutes inside with your phone. What is it that we're doing in there? Uh, I mean, things have really changed, Farah. Mm -hmm. Things have really changed. Mm -hmm. when, we were, when we were young, yeah. Uh, we used to spend our time outside playing mm -hmm. football the whole day until you are dragged back to the house. Mm -hmm. But now, nowadays, kids want to spend, or people want to spend most of their time on, with their phones, mm -hmm. and people are avoiding uh, playing football and other things. Now, guys, uh, even guys are growing fat and obese in this country. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. um, it's not just using the phone in the toilet. Yeah. People are spending time, I mean, 80% of their time with their phones. Mm -hmm. I'm not a physicist or, uh, or a scientist for that matter. Mm -hmm. But uh, there are issues of radiation and everything that comes with your phone, especially when you're know, charging your phone or being close with your phone, mm -hmm. which, 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 which has its own uh, health hazards. Mm -hmm. So, guys, you just be reasonable. Even if you're using your phone, mm -hmm. uh, not all the time. I mean, you have other things to do. Okay. Yes. It says here, Kiyama, kulingana na watalamu wa afya, mtu anapokalia choo kwa muda mrefu husababisha pressure nyingi katika misuli ya sehemu ya chini ya kupitisha haja kubwa na kusababisha uvimbe. <laughs> but we're still oblivious of this. I mean, truth be told, majority of the youth would say, when I go to the loo and I have Wi-Fi, no. I'm good. Yes, you are comfortable. Yes. But uh, it is not even, as my brother said, not only in the toilets. Nowadays, you find people in churches, uh, you might presume that you are reading the Bible, but uh, they are on something else. People are chatting, they're people Facebook. they are on Facebook. So it is a culture that has developed, of which I don't know whether we can have an independent commission to do. <laughs> <laughs> you want an, an, an yes. independent commission to check on the same? Perhaps maybe uh, give us a possible solution you'd suggest. Maybe as a father in a house, you see your kids spending so much time in the washrooms with such gadgets. Uh, Farah and Brother Kiyama, mm -hmm. we are living in very interesting times nowadays. Mm -hmm. We are living in very interesting times. Um, parents have neglected their duty, and now it's the house helps who are w w with the kids. Mm -hmm. But what I can say as a parent is, uh, we should live a balanced life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's time to go and play, there's time to use your phone, there's time to eat, there's time to hang out with friends, mm -hmm. there's time for the masjid, there's time for the church. Mm -hmm. We should live a balanced life mm -hmm. and we should actually check on our kids and what they're doing even with that phone. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the kids of nowadays are not like us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
kids are nowadays so exposed to a lot at a very tender age. Right. Yeah, yeah. So she, guys, you just live a balanced life. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. All right. I thank you very much, uh, Muhammad Kiyama, Muhammad Onyango, for no. your thoughts. Thank you very much, Brian Kiyama. And I cannot let this session end without pointing out the fact that Brian has matched ties with the picture of President Moy. So <laughs> kudos for That's that. That's a big achievement. I, yes. I think, I, think uh, I should look for Mze to uh, earn should. some blessings. Yes. Uh, now, <laughs> that brings us to the end of our first segment of the newspaper review with Muhammad and uh, Brian Kiyama. But don't go too far because when we come back, Tech Tuesday begins. You are watching the Sobah Show. Keep it locked right here on Horizon TV. Horizon TV, the beacon for the nation. Wake up to exciting mornings every day. Active Jumatatu with Muhammad Obura. Tech Tuesday with Yusuf Farah. Wednesday, 